Welcome back to our prayer journal challenge. Today I'm going to show you how to do a mind map. So if you have been in school or a homeschooler or a teacher, some businesses still do these a lot. A mind map is just a visual way of getting a lot of thoughts onto paper and they actually work amazingly well for praying thoroughly for issues, people, things, and so on. So I am going to show you how you can use a mind map to pray. And I'm going to be walking you through just an example of how I would pray for my husband using a mind map. Okay, so I have this here on my screen just so you don't have to try to decipher my handwriting. But this is my husband, Scott. And here is an example of how you can use a mind map. This is what I would do if I were doing a mind map to pray for him. So you start with categories. So I have a category here with spiritual, and I can connect this with the line if I want. So in my journal, I could write Scott here where you see his face, draw a line with a bubble going to spiritual. And then I can get more specific and pray for spiritual things about him, like his prayer life, like the fellowship he has with other believers, his personal time, how that's going. And then I can give another category here. So things that I want to pray for my husband physically. He has diabetes, so I want to pray for that. He is also working hard to lose weight. I can pray for him there. I want to pray for his physical protection. And there are plenty more that I could do here. And you could even do more branches off of that. So for example, coming from weight loss, I could have more branches that talk about you know, his exercise for protection. I can have branches to ask for protection when he's driving, protection when he's traveling, and so on. As a father, I definitely want to be praying for him. So I want to pray for his relationships with our kids, for him to have wisdom as our head of the home, um, for when he disciplines our family. So this is just an example of how you can use this sort of mind map to be praying for things very thoroughly. So you could put yourself here, you could put your pastor here, the members of your family here. This could also be a way that you could pray for issues. So like maybe you wanna pray for your country. And so the country is kind of what you put in the middle and the branches from that might be the government, the churches, the social issues, the economy. There's all kinds of ways that you can use this mind map. What I'm going to encourage you to do today is to pick an individual. If you're not praying thoroughly for your pastor, this would be a great time to pray thoroughly for your pastor, but it doesn't have to be. It can be someone else, like someone in your family or someone who's been heavy on your heart who needs prayer. So on your prayer journal page, just write their name right here in the middle and then draw out the lines going into however many branches you want to go. You can do prayers for them spiritually, emotionally, and physically. You could do prayers for maybe like their family, their job, and their relationships. There are so many ways you can do this. And the number of branches really can be um, whatever you want to set it at. So I'm not going to do a timer today just because there are so many different ways that this could work. But I would love for you to not just get to the end of this video and say, oh, that was a cool idea, and then not do it. Definitely want to encourage you to incorporate this. And even if it's not something you do on a regular basis in your prayer journal, this could be a great way to bless someone with your prayers when you really do want to be thoroughly praying for people or issues. And we'll see you next time.